All right, starting uh, right right ahead here. That's pretty weird. It must be a, a program thing. Anyways, hi, hey, hey there, everyone. This is Alcow, and uh, we're talking about something pretty serious here. Uh, something about what can be a pretty important schedule change with what I want to do with my channel. Uh, before I start, like, I am fully aware, so there's always people going out, Oh, Cal, this is your channel. You can do whatever you want. And the reality is I'm aware of it, and this is why I'm going to be doing this big change, actually. <laughs> it's because, uh, yeah. Uh, there's something I feel like that I want to change in how I do things and uh, I feel like you know some of you out there have been following uh, my little videos on the internet every day for over 10 years and I feel like it's totally okay with wanting to at least you know like I feel like I don't like you know I feel like I owe it to at least explain um, where I am, you know, mentally, like, like basically, uh, my argument for why I want to do this, and uh, there we go. Uh, I guess I I shouldn't just stick around and say nothing, so I'm gonna try and be succinct. I don't have a script or anything. I'm just kind of going with what I got. So anyway, so okay, so if you've been on the talk house for a while, uh, for a long time, I've indicated something like. Uh, this bit, like there being the end of the A side, that after what is there in the coming up tr uh, thread, uh, after after what after the what coming up next list is done, that would be it for the A side, and we're getting really close to that. So I want to explain what that means. The reality is, after playing a lot of ROM hacks for a while, I am now in a position where there. There are a lot more, like, just other types of video games that I'm looking forward to, that I want to play. Like, either I want to, you know, discover with all of y'all, or sharing video games that I cherish. At this point, there's a lot more video games than ROM hacks that kind of do that. And this is why, like, after the A-list is done, um, there would not be any more a dedicated Mario blog. Like, you would still have the A video in the morning if you're in EST, and the B video in the evening if you're in EST. But it wouldn't necessarily be Mario. They could be different things. And I feel like, you know, that makes a bit much sense. Like, remember when I played A Hat in Time? That's basically Mario Sunshine, but for a completely arbitrary reason. Because it's not by Nintendo. It was in the evening, but I played a whole lot of Mario, not by Nintendo, that were in the morning. But then I started playing Donkey Kong, which, are they Mario? Because their physics are completely different. And ultimately, I figured out that the, the distinction didn't make any much more sense in my mind. And so, yeah, like, we will be entering a period where there will not be necessarily a Mario game being played. Now, before, like, okay, I just want to make something to be sure, though. As soon as, you know, something equivalent to Jump 3 or Yum 3 or Mice 3 or like a Miracle Water Hack or, you know, any something made by the Talk House, like A2XD2, uh, Magalex 3, if, if it gets released one day, like, these will always have a home on my channel and I will always, you know, make room for them on my channel. Like, I want that to be clear. But between Mick projects, uh, you know, instead of poking around at 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 at, at, at rom hacks that you know may or may not have uh, you know what we're looking for in a video series, I want to embrace the whole world of video games out there and just go all over the place. So, and yeah, like I know some people are here strictly for the ROM hacks, and uh, I know this, this 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 could hurt, but it's something I definitely want to try. However, there is one big asterisk. The reality is I'm always gonna want to play a ROM hack or something at all points. And there's something I really like to play, but I always felt was weird in the schedule is contests. Like, I kind of want to have a home for contests without feeling like it could be something else. 
So, coming up real soon, like maybe the next game even after Yoshi's Archipelago, I'm going to be doing something wacky. Uh, so Sonic's never gonna, not gonna be affected, and, you know, whatever's playing in the evening is gonna be playing in the evening. But what's playing in the morning, the A slot, like, so that will happen from Monday to Friday. And what I think of doing is Saturday and Sunday mornings, uh, I would play basically levels from various contests. There could be Smebex contacts, contests. Uh, probably a lot of smooth contests because I'm a lot more aware of that field. But like I've always loved playing level design contests because I feel that's where we get into the sheer nugget of personal creativity. Where you're like, you're just concentrating on making one thing and making that one thing shine with a wide, wide, wide disparity. Well, not disparity. Disparity, there's a certain negative connotation to that, but you know, can be a, a big gap in starting ability, you know, and uh, familiarity with the engine and whatnot. And I think that is fascinating. So I want to have a time to play contest, like pretty much always. And I think that, yeah, by making the video in Saturday and Sunday morning contest video and just, you know, you know just casually going through those without any hurry without feeling the need to, you know, well, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but, you know, just taking our time and having fun in those, I think there's a way to have something cool happen. Uh, right now, what I have in mind, what has been, what has crossed my eyesight is a CLDC 2020, the chocolate level contest design, basically, for 2020. I've heard that it is extremely excellent. It also, I've been suggested the 24-hour contest that had the theme of the number four. And, you know, by playing those twice a week, you know, taking our time, uh, I feel like there's almost guaranteed to always have a contest around ready right around the corner once I'm done. And it's something I really want to do. So, 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 so to TLDR... There will be a time, pretty soon, I don't know soon, probably somewhere around 2021, where there won't be a Mario game guaranteed on the schedule. But the weekends uh, will have, uh, basically, some form of Mario contest level going on. Which I believe should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, I know some people will disagree with this choice. I know others will probably be very welcoming of this choice. Uh, I definitely am welcome to, you know, people's opinion on this. Like, please share your thoughts in the comments. Uh, mind you, my mind is kind of made, but I mean, like, I'm always ready to revise, you know, and uh, make some modification uh, if, like, there's a very, very clear through line in what a lot of people think. But, uh, I think, you know, change is very scary, which is why this announcement is made in the Halloween section of the year. Because it's very spooky. Like, things might be different a little bit. Like, I know I would be potentially, like, be like, Oh, I don't know if I was on the receiving end of this message in video form while filming Sprite Club for some reason. But, um, yeah, no, yeah. So, yeah, I'm kind of repeating myself a little bit. Uh, maybe I could have scripted this somehow. I'm not sure. The point is I didn't. And, uh, yeah, so... Like I like, like we still got a ways to go. Mind you, after, like right now, if you don't go to the talk house to check, after Yoshi's Asparagus, there's one, two, three, four games, I think? One of them is gonna take a while, so there's still a ways to go. But however, yeah, I do think of starting the whole contest weekend morning uh, at a game that will follow Yoshi's Archipelago. I know! Share your thoughts! Please do! Like, I'm the one making the videos, but what really makes this work is, you know, is the space in between you and I. And, uh, your thoughts are always valid. So that ultimately, 
This is um, th this is something I genuinely think though. Uh, anyways, I don't know. This was really rambly. I apologize. Conveying messages succinctly is real hard, man.